For hundreds of years, the salamander has fascinated scientists. Because if salamanders lose their legs or tails, they'll grow back again. The salamander can even lose up to a quarter of its heart without dying. But the most spectacular thing of all is that they can heal their brains after severe injuries. If your human brain is damaged, as with Parkinson's or Huntington's disease, it is very difficult to create new cells to heal. And the damages remain for life. Now, for a number of brain diseases, there is new hope. Malin Parmar, a professor at the Biomedical Center in Lund, wants to take advantage of this near-magical self-healing property of the salamander, the next step in order to teach the human brain a new trick. Salamanders have this uh, capacity that if the neurons are damaged, they can generate new neurons in the brain. So we're trying to learn how this is done in the salamander and how we then can apply this in mice and men. Uh, to, in the end, teach our own brains how to repair themselves. For Malin, this interest didn't start with salamanders, but rather with her own pet gecko, Leo. Leo is Leo, who is a gecko And he is a gecko. So when they get attacked from above, from a bird, which is their only real danger, they drop the tail, uh, and then the tail moves on its own. So then the bird goes for the tail while the lizard runs off. That's so smart. But then they need to regrow a new yeah. one, because otherwise, next time a bird comes, uh, it would be... <laughs> they lost their defense. <laughs> no, we're not going to study Leo. I'm not... <laughs> it was Leo who got Malin to start thinking about why some animals have regenerative properties and why humans do not. To find out, four different research groups from different universities study brains from mice, rats, and of course, from salamanders. And they are honing in on the brain disease Parkinson's. The reason it's a good disease to work with in terms of learning to repair the brain is that it's one cell type in the brain, the dopamine neurons, that sit in one region of the brain. So when we need to replace them, we just need to replace one cell type in one location. And this is kind of the easiest scenario uh, for repairing uh, damages to the brain. With Parkinson's disease, neurons in the brain that produce the neurotransmitter dopamine die. The lack of dopamine causes movement problems, tremors, and stiffness. The problem is that more than half of the dopamine-producing nerve cells have often already died by the time the disease is detected. This is why a method is needed that can pause and rewind the damage in the brain. And previously, when researchers have given the same damage to the salamander's brain, it took just one month for all of the dead nerve cells to come back. Exactly which mechanism makes this possible in the salamander and not in humans, researchers do not know yet. But the answer should lie in the salamander's genes. For this reason, they are studying how brains respond to different types of brain diseases in order to find which genes get turned on for the formation of cells and which genes turn off the blocking mechanism. If you see them down in the front of the eye, they are very clear to green. But you see them down there. So you can see on this side how the cells spread from graft core. Malin wants to find the mechanisms that enable the brain to heal itself. What this product is about is to get the much better and also faster and cheaper option for the future. 
The first of future methods could be to inject the right sort of genes into a brain that can trigger new cell production. And if successful, this can lead to new projects and new treatments. I think in 20 years' time, maybe we can learn how to repair the brain after stroke and ALS and Huntington's disease as well. Uh, and also in 20 years' time, I'm sure there's more refined strategies for getting this process started. And this could be delivering certain signals via a pill or also maybe use light or magnetic waves to initiate this repair in the brain. And if all this becomes a reality, it is all thanks to the salamander. And Leo, of course. <laughs> Ja, det är väl tack vare Leo som man eh, kanske hittar det här receptet för hur man eh, får den mänskliga hjärnan att reparera sig själv. Mm.